The ocean's great terror, the death of the sea, is what we often refer to as the great white shark. They are considered the top predators in the animal world and a perennial subject of horror movies. The image of a massive shark, nearly 5 meters long, with sharp teeth ready to tear any living creature into two pieces, has haunted many people. What if its size were doubled or tripled? We would have the Megalodon, the largest shark species to have ever existed on Earth. The Megalodon is a species of lamniform shark that went extinct during the Miocene to Pliocene era. Living from 23 to 3.6 million years ago. It was once considered a member of the Lamnidae family and the closest relative of the great white shark. However, transitional fossils have shown that the Megalodon was the last species of the giant shark lineage, belonging to the Atodus genus that evolved during the Pliocene epoch. Although it was considered one of the largest and most powerful predators to have ever existed, the Megalodon is now only known from fossil fragments, and its actual appearance and maximum size have not been fully proven. Scientists are still debating whether it was a giant version of the great white shark, a sand tiger shark, or a bull shark. Most size estimates of the Megalodon are extrapolated from its teeth, with maximum length estimates ranging from 14 to 20.3 meters and an average length estimate of 10.5 meters. Estimates suggest that a megalodon measuring about 16 meters could weigh up to 48 tons. While one measuring 17 meters could weigh up to 59 tons, and one measuring 20.3 meters could weigh up to 103 tons. Its thick and robust jaws were designed to catch prey and crush enemy bones and its wide jaws could generate a biting force of up to 40,000 pounds per square inch, compared to the great white shark's bite force of only 4,100 pounds per square inch, and the Tyrannosaurus rex's bite force of approximately 12,800 pounds per square inch. Additionally, it was a terrifyingly fast swimmer, with an average speed faster than modern-day sharks, and could migrate across vast oceans with ease. According to research groups, the Megalodon's speed could reach up to 70 km per hour. The Megalodon was also believed to have given birth to its young in rocky nearshore areas, where shallow waters provided protection from predators. However, when ice formed at the poles and sea levels dropped, these rocky areas were destroyed. The Megalodon likely had a significant impact on the structure of marine communities, as fossil records indicate its distribution worldwide. It could prey on animals such as crustaceans, cephalopods, and sea turtles, and may have used its powerful jaws to puncture the chest cavity and pierce the heart and lungs of its prey. This creature faced competition from other meat-eating predators such as the leviathan, other shark species, and possibly killer whales. As megalodons preferred warm waters, researchers believe that a decrease in ocean temperatures associated with the onset of the ice age as well as lower sea levels, may have contributed to their extinction. Megalodon teeth have been found in four locations worldwide, including Europe, East Asia, the Caribbean, and the Pacific Ocean, indicating that, like some modern-day shark species, it had a global distribution. Until now, the cause of the extinction of the Megalodon is still unclear. But it is speculated that the disappearance of the species may be related to the scarcity of prey, especially large fish. One of the possible causes of the megalodon's extinction is the great white shark, which has been present on Earth for six million years. Initially, they only roamed the Pacific Ocean, but later, they developed and appeared worldwide. During their travels across the ocean, they may have crossed into megalodon territory many times. And if there was a conflict, the great white shark would have had no chance against the megalodon. However, they would only target young megalodon, and due to their larger population, the great white sharks hunted the prey of the megalodon. As the prey decreased over time, the number of megalodon gradually shrank, and the great white shark rose to the top of the food chain. This is a plausible theory, but debates about the extinction of the megalodon will likely not stop here. Shark experts do not believe that only the great white shark could have caused the extinction of the megalodon. What if they never went extinct? If the Megalodon still existed, they would not live in the Mariana Trench as many people have speculated. Because this prehistoric shark species dislikes cold waters, scientific evidence from Megalodon shows that they prefer warmer and shallower waters. 
and there would be areas full of large prey necessary to sustain their population. If these predators appeared, they could disrupt human beach vacations. But if they spotted a person swimming in the ocean, they would not attack immediately because humans are too small compared to them. Megalodon sharks are enormous, with a minimum length of 16 meters. And scientists estimate that they need to consume at least 1,200 kilograms of food per day. They could attack marine mammals like whales and dolphins to get the calories they need. So humans will not be their primary target. Each megalodon tooth is as big as your hand. Unlike humans, this shark species can continuously produce new sets of teeth every week or two. And they can replace their teeth up to 40,000 times in their lifetime. Scientists believe that Megalodon could live up to 100 years. Explorers are still searching for clues that may indicate that the Megalodon may have recently gone extinct or even still exists. In August 2013, the Discovery Channel aired a documentary called, Megalodon, The Monster Shark Lives, to provide evidence for the contemporary existence of the Megalodon. When asked if the Megalodon still exists, Emma Bernard, the curator of the fossil fish collection at the museum, bluntly denied it, saying, no. She believes that, if a large animal like the megalodon is still alive in the oceans, we would definitely know about it. Indeed, these sharks would leave massive bite marks on other large marine animals, and their enormous teeth would continue to scatter on the ocean floor in the tens of thousands. Megalodon is known to the public for its larger size than great white sharks so it is considered a dangerous and extremely terrifying animal. Megalodon is very popular with screenwriters, especially in horror movies like Shark Attack 3, Megalodon, but their size on film is often greatly exaggerated. Megalodon is the center of a story in the Katago comic series, which currently has eight volumes, based on the hypothesis of the species' existence. While also referring to various recent fossil discoveries of Megalodon, Megalodon also appears in the science fiction documentary Monster from the Deep Sea, produced by the BBC. Research on Megalodon is still ongoing to this day. As scientists continue to investigate its existence and the causes of its extinction, who knows, perhaps somewhere in the vast depths of the ocean, Megalodon specimens from prehistoric times still exist. That concludes today's video, thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you again.